modern music wouldn't be the way it is without migrants. I saw my mom's face and I didn't know it's the last time that I see her. Really big numbers of hanging. It could be me, it could be anyone. I left everything in three days. You have 30 seconds to run. They see you, they shoot you. 200 people in a really, really small boat. I didn't have any hope. To treat these people as criminals just seems to be a crime in itself. We're party to this absolute avoidable horror. It's only fear that's stopping us from embracing these people. We'd heard that there was a detention centre in Brisbane. One day, just people told me a group of musicians are coming here to play for us. We would just sing with them and listen to their stories. We wrote all these comments on the board. Getting their stories and we, we turned them into songs. People were connecting linking with one another, creating solidarity, using music as a vehicle. Even if you're singing about some really dark times, there's a joyfulness. It's a really cathartic experience. Music is my language. You don't need to understand, you know? You just feel it. It's all about writing songs with the refugees. Future doctors and lawyers and entrepreneurs, these people are extraordinary. To actually record these people has been oh, just wonderful. Music doesn't really change the world, but it changes people, and people can change the world. Refugee is not an identity, it's an experience. My new life in Australia, it just sort of scattered people. When there's something way down burning within, to be heard is a liberating thing.